services and space Able station. Next to the commercial resupply services mission is on its way at the International Space Station, carrying over three tons of science and supplies to Expedition 73 as it begins its pitch downrange. You can see the first stage leaving in that view. And as you saw and heard, those events just happened. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine startup one, and the first stage boost back burn. You can see beautiful views of that first stage boost back burn right now. That boost back burn will, ha will ha continue for about 30 more seconds. Um, again, this is the burn where the engines will bring the trajectory back towards our landing site at Cape Canaveral back to landing zone one which is just a short hop from where we lifted off just a few minutes ago and we have just under 10 seconds of that boost back burn of the first stage stage one boost back shut down there is the shutdown of that first stage boost back burn. You can see the second stage is still in the middle of its burn. And in about three minutes, there will be two additional burns on our first stage to prepare for its landing. We are under a minute to the start of that first stage entry burn. Again, this will be a three engine burn of our first stage as it slows its, itself down, making its way back to landing zone one. And that burn will be a three engine burn with the center E9 engine along with two engines on the side. Meanwhile, second stage continues to be looking good with that single Merlin vacuum engine carrying the Dragon capsule. Those vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory towards the international, towards the orbit. Just a few seconds away from the start of that first stage entry burn. Stage one entry burn startup. There is that start of the first stage entry burn. Stage one entry burn shut down. And there stage one FTS has saved. There is the shutdown of the entry burn and the call out that the flight termination system has saved. Now this first stage that's 
Supporting today's mission has just performed its entry burn for the third time. Falcon 9 is the world's first orbital class reusable rocket, and this is important because reusability allows SpaceX Both vehicles following a nominal trajectory to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of access to space. Now coming up, we'll have the landing burn on the first stage, stage followed transonic. quickly by the shutdown of our MVAC engine on the second stage. You can see the lights of the Florida coast in that view on your left. Stage one landing burn. There is the start of our stage one landing burn. We're now waiting for Falcon 9 to make that Precision landing. Stage one landing confirmed. What a beautiful view of that stage one landing. And there you have it. That landing marks SpaceX's 434th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Heavy. Stage one landing burn. There is the start of our stage one landing burn. We're now waiting for Falcon 9 to make that precision Land landing. Deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. What? Stage one landing burn. There is the start of our stage one landing burn. We're now waiting for Falcon 9 to make that precision Land landing. Deploy. Stage one landing burn. We're now waiting for Falcon 9 to make that precision Land landing. Land deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. What a beautiful view of that stage one landing. And there you have it. That landing marks SpaceX's 434th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and